So it's Mark Shelton, and you guys have the neatest wallet. Actually, you and your buddy Chris, right, came up with this idea about this, like it's a metal wallet that just is indestructible and designed <laughs> you know, to, to its pants off and everything. <laughs> Where does this come about? Uh, basically, my friend and I, Chris, have been talking for a while about trying to do something. Um, I have uh, have a daughter. If, if uh, you can go to Kickstarter, check it out, see the video, um, search for a quick wallet. And uh, in that video, it shows that my daughter was in a, a hip, uh, um, it's called Spike a Cast. So it's, um, it's a half body cast. And uh, I was at Home Depot. Um, I was designing a chair for her so that she could sit upright. And... Um, Went went to the went to the cashier. Went to go give her my wallet. It got stuck because I carried a big clunky wallet just like everybody else. And uh, I ended up just pulling it out. And I was holding my daughter, and I gave it to her, and I told her, "Hey, you know what? Can you just slide the card for me? You know, I'm, it's you know, it was it was right before closing. I was over it. Just slide it, and give it back." And uh, I started laughing and just said, "You know, somebody should make a one-handed wallet." <laughs> and that's what it is. What that's all it was. I... One-handed wallet. Did you think about that or not? Uh, yeah. I mean, yeah, we, we, uh, that, as soon as I said it, it just kind of dawned on me like, oh, that'd be really cool. Yeah. You know? And so I called my friend Chris and we started going over things and, and seeing what was out there and what we could do differently that would make the transaction process a little bit easier. You know, um, so this, uh, the, the, the idea of this, that uh, you could just take out this wall with one hand and get a credit card out and put it back in and everything. And you, you do it one handed, huh? Yeah, yeah, it makes a little, and, and it the the whole thing too is about it being slim. You know, um, uh, you can put it in your front pocket. You don't see it. We all we jokingly as a marketing thing to say like, "Where's your bulge?" You know, a lot of people have it in their back pocket. I all you know as a guy, we want ours in the front. Well, I so. loved on your website how you have this uh, the doctor who said that most of the problems he has with people with hip problems is because that wallet in their back pocket. Yeah, that was a big thing um, for us is once I showed him that um, he was able to go and, and, and endorse the product to say that he stands behind it as well. And, and he's a really good guy and he understands the benefits of being able to put it into your front pocket, which is amazing. You know? Well, that's amazing that you have a wallet that can make you healthy. <laughs> right. And if you get the solid copper one, that has health benefits too. <laughs> right. <laughs> that's right. It comes in copper and, and what else? And then we have... do, we have a gold plated 14 uh, karat uh -huh. gold. We have a silver plated design and we also have a black slate uh, anodized that we uh, we made worked with our anodizer to come up with that custom color. Well, the uh, but I think the most important thing, man, you made your goal already huh? and doubled yeah. it. <laughs> in, for, in 48 hours, in 48 hours, in 48 we hours, you made your goal. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, wow. it, it, Do you it feel was... stupid? <laughs> a little bit a little bit uh, more amazed you know and, and just happy we knew we we knew we had something good um you know and, and hopefully it keeps moving and keeps working and, and the biggest thing is is that once somebody gets it in their hand that's that's the wow factor the wow factor yeah, yeah. I mean, they can see it online and say like oh that's really cool but until you get the wallet and hold it in your hand you know the the cue you know, um, we'll put it up again so people really see what that thing is because they may not. Yeah, so he, here's a QL. This is a prototype copper one that we had. We started uh -huh. off with doing uh, copper plating. And the know, other side is, okay, is so your, how, your, how would you use it? Can you do you use it one hand? Sure, sure. Yeah, basically, you just pick it up and slide your card out. With ah, your I see. So it's just you take it out and you can put it back in and slide it back in with one hand. <laughs> Oh, that's terrific. So, I mean, you looking to go retail eventually or are you going to stay online? What do you, what's the outlook, you think? We definitely want to go into retail. Yeah. You know, we want to move it forward and keep it going because we think we have something that's a little bit different than a lot of the wallets out there. Um, so, yeah, that's definitely what we're looking to do. We want it to be is not just like there's some out there that are just doing projects just to do projects, but we want it to be a company. You know, we actually want to do something that will actually help. Um, and we believe we're onto something with this, you know, but yeah, we, we've gotten proposals from, uh, people already saying that, you know, as soon as this is done, let us know, we want to buy it and sell it. You oh, know? So really? That, oh, yeah. That's been really distributors funny. are coming to you already. Yeah. yeah. Which is, which is odd. Normally we have to go and search. I know them. you got to bang on doors, man. Yeah. 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 So. <laughs> Sit so, there and take orders. <laughs> you know what sales is all about, and that's a dream job, just taking those orders. Yeah. Right, right, and, right. And then, but you say that you see a big line of other kind of related products, you said, huh? 
Yeah, that, well, th yeah, um, it's we have a lot of accessory stuff, but we're also not looking at any other industry. Well, we're also looking at every other industry um, as well, too. So the baby products, um, there's clothing. Um, there's also food stuff, too, that we have. So we, we're lucky to be able to be in contact with a lot of people that have some great ideas that, honestly, that are looking for something to pull the trigger. And, and that's what we were looking for, too. And, and so far, it's been we've been doing pretty good. Oh, wonderful. And this is your first Kickstarter? This is our first Kickstarter, yeah. Oh, besides buying on Kickstarter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, uh, um, Chris told me about it, and I started looking at it. Um, then I started buying and then and looking at everything, and then I started talking about other people, about them buying. And uh -huh. it's just been really, really cool. I've reached out to a couple of the people that I bought from, um, and uh, you know they said to give them a call anytime if I have any questions about the debtor process or about the ups and downs that they that that they had going on too. So it's it's been it's been a welcoming community you know so far. So so the other people on Kickstarter have been helping you too. They're they're well they're not Kickstarter uh, completely not the Kickstarter people but people who are putting yeah, products on Kickstarter. Projects, yeah, other yeah. projects. Yeah. So yeah. I, I've contacted a couple a couple of them and uh, they've been they've been very nice. Yeah. You know, and it's and it's worked out pretty well. So it's a nice crowd of people on Kickstarter. Right? Yeah. yeah, a lot of people are just like us. It, you know, it we're we're just regular guys yeah. doing doing that one thing that a lot of people don't do is just say, you know what, let's do it. Yeah. You know, you're just regular guys sitting around. Hey, this is a good idea. Put it on the web, and you got twelve grand just like that. <laughs> so far, we have two hundred six backers. Uh, hopefully, it keeps going up. Every backer that ever puts up anything for us gets a personal message from us. Boy, it's our way of saying thank you. Because um, I, have no, I haven't seen that anywhere on any Kickstarter. Yeah. It's about just, like we said in our video, what would we do differently yeah. that would make us want to keep coming back and, and you know, have a friend, to be honest. Right. Well, thank you for being there, Mark. And thanks for you know sharing your soul with the rest of us and trying to get products to us that really make a difference instead of all that junk in the mall. <laughs> Thank you.